Hello there, Star Wars fans and collectors, and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Black Series, Admiral Piet. Now, like I said in my other video, I am kind of on, on a run with the uh, Imperial Officers. Well, not a run, but I'm kind of going on a consistent path with the Imperial Officers. And so uh, I figured I'd just review this one next. And and I do plan on reviewing the Avenged Collection, Admiral Piet, and Moff Jared Jared. And I, I do plan on reviewing... Uh, the two Thrawns that I have, that being the Black Series Archive Collection version of the figure, <laughs> the Vintage Collection version of the figure, both based on Rebels, and um, Ozzel, Tarkin, and Tala from the Kenobi show. And uh, hopefully that will kind of, um, you know, play out the Imperial Officers reviews. But anyway, back to this figure. This figure, like, like well, no, sorry, let me, let me turn over. In my previous video, I did review in General Veers and... And, and another and uh, rampart and i said in the video that uh those bodies are the same bodies as the same uh, well, the bodies that were used for rampart and veers are the same body as piet and this and obviously hasbro are reusing and re-sculpting and retooling you know certain body parts for their uh characters especially the officers because they do wear the same uniform in different rankings so it makes sense that they would just reuse the body to add a new head or, or add new hand uh, hands and and uh maybe legs sometimes or different body parts depending on who the character is Oops, bad, sorry about that and yeah so this is you know not there's nothing too new really if you, if you saw my review on uh, general veers and rampart but I figured to still review the figure. It's still its own figure and its own character. So before we take a look at the figure itself, we'll take a look at the packaging. And here he is. It has a great shot of Admiral Piet from the movie. Or uh, well, it's an artwork ba based on the like based on the likeness of the the actor playing the character. Uh, as it were, a portrait of the char of the character. We got the your typical Black Series um box packaging. You know, for the red and black card uh, packaging style. He got his name, the ages for an up thing, the warning, choking hazard. The back, we got the same stuff. Uh, picture of him, the name of the character, the Star Wars Black Series name. And we also got the description of who the character is. And the rest of the paragraphs are, are the same thing in different languages. We got the stuffy stuff on the bottom, with Disney and Hasbro and all the other warnings. And it says here, an ambitious Imperial officer, Piet rose through the ranks to captain and was assigned to the Superstar Destroyer. Uh, executor Darth Vader's flagship. When da when Vader strangled Admiral Ozzel, Piet was granted a bat a battlefield promotion to Admiral and given a grisly warning of the penalty for failure. And that is correct because that did happen in the film, and it you know it's, it's something that makes you know that scene memorable from Empire Strikes Back. But back to the figure itself. So accessories that he comes with are a removal hat. And a blaster pistol, and the same thing came with Veers. Obviously, Veers came with two extra accessories, being the, being his uh, battle armor and the helmet. But that's it. These accessories are the same thing for General Veers, and it makes sense because they both wore caps. And even though we don't see him use guns, they it would make sense that they have a gun, given they are Imperial officers, so they needed to fight off opponents. But um, the head sculpt is really nice. They did a great uh, job um, on the likeness to the actor who played. I think his name was kind of. Cooley or Coley, something like that, and they did a great job to the uh, head sculpt, and we got to see, we got to see some hair for this character, and we got to see hair for Veers too when I took off his hat last time in my uh, General Veers video, and uh, yeah, because I'm used to seeing these guys wear, wear their hats, so it's so it's kind of cool to see them without their hats. Now articulation he has is I would say like a ball hinge at the neck or a ball joint. It's kind of, it, I want to say it's on a ball hinge. Uh, he has hinge elbows, hinge, uh, uh, hinge shoulders, hinge, hinge elbows, hinge wrists. Let's double check that. Yeah, hinge, hinge wrist. Again, limited movement on the waist, hinge uh, hips, hinge knees, and hinge ankles. And that's the articulation for the figure. This figure, I give a 10 out of 10. And I think that this is another great officer you should have in your collection, especially this is Admiral Piet. Um... Hopefully they make more figures of Imperial officers in the future. And I know I know I said this in my previous video, but we need more officers. We need, you know, Captain Nita, 
also all those guys from episode four and maybe just a generic imperial officer in general you know and and you know and, you know you can always just re reuse this body and re-sculpt it and retool it you know no problemo you know so maybe and if anything they can make a captain p at where it's the same figure but he has the captain rank i don't know it'd be nice or maybe make a captain nita and then and then and then maybe i can take this head and swap it on captain nita if they ever make a captain nita for the black series you know but who knows we'll, we'll see what happens in the future with that being said this is that will be all for today guys thank you so much for, for watching as always be sure to like subscribe comment down below hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next video may the force be with you and have a great rest of your day or night bye